There are new clues to a 2002 cold case this evening. A tip led police and archaeologists to excavate a site where Latricia Phipps could have been buried eight years ago when she was reported missing. She hasn't been seen since. Crime reporter Lori Fulbright has the exclusives for us. Lori? Well, Scott, I have covered Trisha's case since it happened in 2002, and I've interviewed her mother a number of times. As police are digging for answers, her family has come to the terms with the idea that Trisha is most likely dead. But still, they want her to be buried properly and in peace. If she is in this clandestine grave in Wagoner County, at least they can bring her home. Grad students from the University of Oklahoma's archaeology department have the painstakingly slow job of removing thin layers of soil from what might be a shallow grave. A tip led officers here. Then ground penetrating radar showed some type of anomaly under a concrete slab. So they removed it and are now digging. The archaeologists are looking for changes in the soil texture and color. Natural soil tends to, to occur in layers, and when you dig a hole in the ground, you jumble up those layers. And then when you fill the hole back in, all that jumbled dirt is, is put back in the hole. So instead of having the nice layers that you had before, you have this jumbled uh, mixture. Trisha Phipps has been missing since November of 2002 when she was working and told her family her ex-boyfriend was going to bring her home. He says he dropped her off, but her family says she never showed. And they knew something terrible had happened when she didn't pick up her adopted children from daycare. Police say they want to give families the answers they so desperately crave. It's extremely important to us. We don't forget about any of these cases that are unsolved. We continue to work them. However, there are times when it, you know, it goes somewhat cold, and uh, but there's no statute of limitations on, on murder. This is a slow and delicate process, so it could take a couple of days to know if this is Trisha's final resting place. If it is, then forensic anthropologists will try to determine how she died and even look for clues as to who killed her. Tulsa police want to thank the Wagoner County Sheriff's Office, Patricia Adams, for the use of her cadaver dogs, the Cherokee Nation for its radar equipment, the International Cold Case Association, and the OU scientists, of course, all who have donated their time to this case. Lori Fulbright, the News on 6.